Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with polynomial expressions. We have x to the fourth plus x squared is equal to one, and we're going to evaluate x to the sixth plus two x to the fourth. So our goal is to find a numerical value for the second expression. And I'll be presenting five methods, even though one of them will be incomplete. And let's start with the third one, because why not? All right. So for our th third method, we're going to go ahead and take the first expression and then set it equal to zero. So by putting everything on the left hand side, so we can get a full polynomial. Well, sort of. And then to solve this polynomial, we're going to go ahead and use substitution. So I'm going to replace x squared with y. And if I plug in, this becomes x squared squared or just y squared. And this just turns into a quadratic equation. We also call these biquadratic because it doesn't contain any x cubed. It doesn't contain any x. Make sense? So they're pretty easy to solve. To solve this, you can, you know, so obviously use a couple different methods. But think about it first. We can write this using the quadratic formula as negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, plus 4, which is 5, divided by 2. And isn't this golden? Think about it. There are two solutions, negative 1 minus root 5 over 2 and negative 1 plus root 5 over 2. Notice that y is equal to x squared. So it's supposed to be a perfect square if, obviously, x is real, right? So this is not positive. It's negative. It's not going to have real solutions. So we're going to go with this. Let's go ahead and set the y equal to root 5 minus 1 over 2. And remember... This is equal to what? x squared. But don't worry, we're not going to find x. We don't need x. You'll see in a little bit why. So in our expression, we do need to find x to the 6 plus 2x to the 4. So they're both even powers. So all we have to do is just take x squared and get the 6th and 4th powers from there. Make sense? So let's go ahead and write this one more time. Let me write it with the x squared on the left hand side and then square both sides. Okay? I'm going to square this and I'm going to square that. That's going to give me x to the fourth power equals, if you square the numerator, you're going to get 5 plus 1 minus 2 root 5 divided by 4. That's 6 minus 2 root 5 divided by 4. And that's actually 3 minus root 5 divided by 2. So that's x to the fourth power. And to find x to the sixth power, you can either cube that expression, but there's an easier way to do it. Just multiply x to the fourth by x squared. We already know what x to the fourth power is. And we also know what x squared is, remember, before we squared it. And then just distribute these. And at the end, after simplifying pretty much everything, you're going to end up with root 5 minus 2. Why? Because you're going to get a lot of terms and simplify. That's going to be the answer. So that is x to the 6, and that is x to the 4th. And what am I trying to find? x to the 6 plus 2x to the 4th. So let's go ahead and plug it in x to the 6th is root 5 minus 2, and x to the 4th is 3 minus root 5 over 2. The 2's cancel out, leaving us with root 5 minus 2, plus 3 minus root 5. Root 5 cancels out, leaving us with 1. So the answer is 1, which is x to the 6th plus 2x to the 4th. So that's the end of the third method. Now, let's proceed with the first method. All right, great. So the first method is the following. From here, we're going to go ahead and get the same equation one more time, right? Or is it something different? It, it is different. We're going to isolate x to the fourth, write it as 1 minus x squared. That's going to be our formula. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by x to the second power. That's going to give us x to the sixth equals x squared minus x to the fourth. So we've got another expression for x to the sixth, but Remember, x to the fourth can be written as follows. So replace x to the fourth with that. And x to the sixth now can be written as 2x squared minus 1. So our goal is basically to express every power in terms of x squared. And we did, because we already know this and now that. And our goal is to evaluate x to the sixth plus 2x to the fourth. That's going to be 2x squared minus 1 plus 2 times x squared, which is 1 minus x squared. And this is 2x squared minus 1 plus 2 minus 2x squared. And 2x squared is going to cancel out. And we're going to end up with 1 again. 
Make sense? This is the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. We still have to look at four and five. With the second method, notice that, and please let me know which method is your favorite. And if you have another method, like the sixth method, let, let us know. But with the uh, second, I'm going to do the following. First of all, I'll, I'll factor out an x squared because that'll be helpful. And then, since I'm given x to the fourth plus x squared, which is equal to 1, I can actually go ahead and break this down. Look at that. I can write this as x to the fourth plus x squared plus another x squared. You got that? 2x squared. Now, I do know that this is equal to 1 because it's given right. So now this gives me x squared times 1 plus x squared. If you distribute, you get x squared plus x to the fourth, which is the same as x to the fourth plus x squared, which is 1. Remember, it was equal to 1. So that brings us to the end of the second method. And now we're going to quickly talk about the fourth and the fifth. Or should we kind of slow down a little bit? Let's see. Fourth method. And remember, I told you one of the methods will be incomplete. And this is the fourth one. But I still want to share with you the idea because it might be helpful, at least for some people. I'm going to go ahead and use substitution one more time. Let's go ahead and replace x squared with t. That's definitely going to simplify our expression. So we're given t squared plus t equals 1. And we're supposed to evaluate t cubed plus 2t squared. I'm not going to make the joke 2t or not 2t. Let's just leave it at that. So I'm trying to evaluate this based on this. How can I do it? Think about it. You have a t cubed. So you can try to get t cubed in terms of t or t squared. But here's what you can do. You can isolate t squared and then multiply both sides by t to get t cubed and then plug it in, so on and so forth. But like I said earlier, this method is going to be incomplete and your task is to finish it up, okay? Now, the last method will be the fifth, which is the fifth is the last one, right? So here's what I'm going to do. Again, the problem is giving us this and asking us to evaluate this expression, right? You already know the answer, but let's just go ahead and dig a little bit further. And this method is entirely different from the other ones because it kind of uses the good, really cool idea um, from polynomials. So since I'm trying to evaluate this expression and I don't know what it is, and I expect to get a numerical answer, let's go ahead and set it equal to k. k for constant, okay? Is that how you spell it? No. But k is going to be constant. So this means for these values, for these values, uh, this is true. In other words, this means that x to the 6 plus 2x to the 4th minus k is divisible by x to the 4th plus x squared minus 1. Why? Because from this, you can make that. Make sense? I hope it does. Now, this is critical. I know uh, you guys like long division, a lot of people at least, right? If you don't, don't worry about it. You're going to like it because I started liking it, sort of. Right? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do long division. And in the United States, I don't know, fortunately or unfortunately, it's done like this. So you write the divisor on the left, which is kind of, kind of backwards, but anyways. So now we're going to do the following. How many times x to the fourth goes into x to the sixth? x squared times. And we're going to distribute here. It's going to give us x to the sixth plus x to the fourth minus x squared. And then we're going to subtract. Well, we can't subtract. So we're going to add the opposite. In other words, we're going to negate and add. This is going to cancel out x to the fourth plus x squared minus k. Now, x to the fourth goes into x to the fourth one time, so we're going to add 1 and distribute 1 here. So that's going to give us x to the fourth plus x squared minus 1. At this point, you can tell what k is, but let's just uh, go through the motions. Minus, minus, plus, negate and add. x to the fourth is going to cancel. x squared is going to cancel out. 1 minus k is supposed to be the remainder. But wait a minute. Didn't you just say this goes into that evenly? So the remainder should be 0 which gives us k equals 1, and that was what we were looking for. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time in another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and enjoy the five methods. And bye-bye.